On the morning of February 8th, 1855, residents of Devon, England, woke up to a strange sight. Footprints that didn't seem to come from any known creature covered the snowy ground, leading some to believe they had been visited by an otherworldly creature. Let's talk about the phenomenon best known as the Devil's Footprints. In addition to coming from an unrecognizable creature, the prints covered between 40 and 100 miles, depending on the source, and went in places no living creature could go. They seemed to go through walls, across roofs and drain pipes, and even over a nearby river. The prints measured about 4 inches by 2 and 3 fourths inches, and there were roughly 8 inches between each one. General consensus said the prints were made by something that walked on two legs, but workers at the British Museum, the Zoological Society, and Keepers in Regent's Park were unable to determine just what they were. Because they resembled a cloven hoof and Satan is often portrayed this way, the theory emerged that these prints were made by the devil himself. He was said to be in the area, looking for sinners. And the prints in Devon weren't the first instance of this kind of phenomenon. A similar set was found regularly in Poland, at least according to a newspaper article of the time. According to a letter to the editor of the Illustrated London News, there was no mark of a beginning or end being distinguished in the Polish prints. They were universally attributed by the inhabitants to supernatural influence. Other prints were found in Somersetshire and Gloucestershire around the same time. And another set had been reported by a ship captain on the very isolated Kerguelen Islands in the southern Indian Ocean in 1840. But these sightings weren't just regulated to the 1800s. Witnesses described similar prints in Devon in 2009. This time, unlike the original footprints, they were able to be photographed. So, what's going on here? What are these mysterious prints? Were they really made by Satan himself? Or is there a more logical explanation? Let's go over some theories. The first theory is that the prints were made by an animal. Badgers, donkeys, kangaroos, and even birds have been thrown out as possible culprits. On the surface, this would make the most sense. Most sources refer to these markings as prints or footprints, something commonly thought of as being made by living things. But there are some problems with this theory, namely the strange nature of the prints. As I mentioned earlier, they went in places no living being could have easily gotten, over rooftops, through fences, and even across a river. An animal trekking through all of these paths, especially for dozens of miles, seems unlikely. The next theory is that the prints were caused by a hot air balloon. As stated by TheVintageNews.com, the British novelist Jeffrey Household believed that an experimental balloon was mistakenly released on the Devonport dockyard. According to Jeffrey, the balloon had made the traces in the snow by dragging two shackles attached on the end of its mooring ropes. This is a strange theory, at least to me. I don't know much about hot air balloons, so I can't say how likely this is, but I did find it interesting enough to share. The last two theories are that the prints weren't necessarily real, at least not to the degree as they've been reported. It's possible they were created by one party of a dispute as a hoax to make their opponents look bad. It's also possible they were a result of mass hysteria. Multiple people saw unusual but different prints in the snow, and the stories about them grew over time. Admittedly, these are probably the least exciting theories, though in these cases, the least exciting theories are often the correct ones. In truth, we'll probably never know exactly what the so-called devil's footprints really were. As I mentioned earlier, the famous Devon prints of 1855 were never photographed. 
A lot of what we know about them comes from information from old archived newspapers or sketches, leaving a lot up to the imagination. Whatever you choose to believe, I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Thanks for watching and have a creepy day.